This is our patient Max. He is a 10 year old dingo cross. He hasn't been well for about the last six weeks and he's had a history of intermittent fevers and weight loss. He's had quite a lot of diagnostic testing and eventually a lung mass was identified on CT. So today, that's our aim to remove this mass. Now we'll just make sure, uh, that's fine. We'll just make sure his legs are pulled forward a bit. You can just see how much weight he's lost, this dog, because he's quite thin. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. What I'm doing here is I'm counting between the ribs so I can actually make my incision over the area of the affected mass in the lung lobe. Just makes life easier. Lung cancer is relatively uncommon in dogs, unlike people. We don't know for sure that that's what Max has got. We'll really only know once we've got the laboratory pathology back and then we can make some further judgments then on what to do. The question is whether this type of lung cancer will return once uh, it's removed. The answer to that is really that it will depend on what type of tumour it, it, it turns out to be. The majority of lung cancers uh, are malignant and that's more likely to be the case with Max. The average survival time with carcinomas with nothing but surgery can vary between months and years and a lot of these aren't particularly amenable to chemotherapy. In Max's case, this may be a carcinoma, which is the most common cancer. The primary treatment for carcinomas is surgical resection. They're often not terribly susceptible to chemotherapy. Uh, nevertheless, they have a very good quality of life once we get them out. And they do can have, as I've said before, quite long survival times. So it depends on the results of the pathology and what his owners wish to do, uh, how to some extent that will dictate um, uh, his survival time. So uh, time will tell, really, just how long Max will live following surgery only. Will Max require chemotherapy? Well, this really is going to depend on the type of cancer, whether it's malignant or not, whether it res responds effectively to chemotherapy and what his owners decide to do. Okay, you can see his lungs going up and down here as they're inflating and deflating each time he breathes and, and, and protruding through the incision towards us there. The bin. Yeah. yeah. We pull out the lung lobe here, and there we have our mass. Really? Yep, there's our mass. Now I'm going to use some saline soaked surgical gauze sponge to pack off the rest of his thorax and protect the rest of his lungs while I remove the affected area. <laughs> now we're just going to. Still got a low end tidal CO2, Sarah. Everything else is fine, you just have to sit on that. He's probably, he's ventilating all right. Yeah, everything Look, I think, else is fine. Just... Yeah, I think what we'll do at this stage, could I have some 3O monison? Uh, that's, that's a bit of a... Uh, taper needle? Um, no, uh, yeah, taper needle, please. Let's get you to hold these, Grace. How much lung can you remove before it's dangerous? You've removed a whole left side, haven't you, in a boxer? Hmm? Did you do a lung lobectomy on a boxer but remove the whole left side of its? Uh, just hang on to that there, Grace. Um, uh, yes, I did. I did probably the whole lung lobe. Yeah. I yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So the next question I usually ask Mr. Elson is, what's the prognosis for the dog? Probably these are most likely going to be a, a, a carcinoma, a bronchial carcinoma, and they do tend to recur. And the best treatment though is surgical resection. And just hold it a bit like that. Just and um, but they tend to re, uh, grow back more slowly than other types of tumours. And uh, if 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 surgery is the sole means of treatment, they're not. Doesn't take much to leak air on these at all. Now I'm going to cut that. There's a bit of suture. Hmm? There's a bit of suture material. And then we're going to actually leave this. I will after. Now, I'm just going to let these go. Would you? Again? I'm going to oversay the ends of this. Just hold that. <laughs> okay, can you cut that please, Grace? This is the thoracic drainage tube that I've just placed in his chest and it's going to remove any residual air and, and uh, left over and possibly from air leaks. Usually it'll only have to stay in place for 12 to 24 hours and then it can be removed once we're satisfied that any air leakage is minimal. Three, four. I'll do one. One more for good measure. Okay, nice and long. Long, long, oh, a bit shorter. Yep, there. That's good. Now, um, let's just get some of this out. We'll get this dog starting to breathe. I mean, the other thing I could have done at the time was expanded his chest before I closed it, got his lungs to expand. But I actually didn't want to put too much force on um, where we'd done our repair. At this stage, I'm going to remove the remaining air from his chest. So I've, we've attached a three-way tap and a syringe to suck out the residual air. Dismantle it every time. And then, by then, our, actually, that should be starting to get to the stage where it's no longer working anyway. Yeah, I think the Norican's Now that we've removed the air from his chest, we're going to see if he can start breathing on his own. The paralysing okay. agent that we Suddenly, gave him going, oh, should be just about worn anymore. off by now. So once the air is gone and that's worn off, he will start to spontaneously want, breathe want, want as well. Some, um, a, a bit of bell band to go around this. Max did go on to make a great recovery from surgery. When his owner brought him back to his stitches out, he said how well he was and that he'd gone back to being his old self. Lutes, you know why? His lung tissue. Actually, you can show that. You can take a little photo of it in there and say it floats. And why does it float? It floats because there is air in it. It did turn out to be a carcinoma. Uh, but at this stage we've, all, we've elected to not pursue any other treatment options and Max is going to go home and maintain his previously active lifestyle.